Hi guys and welcome back to Ask NK. So in today's video we'll be looking at a question that was asked in one of the videos that I made that has to do with transparency and this question is how can you like uh, make a linear transition for an object let's say the object is fully solid then you try to make it transparent okay like make it visible and invisible some sort of transparency thing and so what we're going to do today is we're going to see how you can make use of shaders to drive the transparency of a character or let's say of a model depending on what you want to do with it and i'm going to start off with the very basic ones and we're going to go through them and you know talk about them and move on from there i'll try as much as possible to talk about most of the shaders i have that can support something like this and uh, hopefully it's going to be beneficiary to you. So starting off, we're going to start with something that is directly existing in Maya, which is the Maya Lambert shader. And I have this model here and this model has the Lambert shader attached to it. And if I just simply jump out into perspective, you see, I have uh, an area light that exists here. Okay. So we're just firing this area light here. And if you're wondering how I got this target, you just need to press T on your keyboard and you can have the target turned on and also turned off. Okay, so now I have this, what I want to do is I want to be able to make this object transparent. And for us to be able to see this when we actually try to make it transparent, it simply means we need to make use of the Maya uh, renderer or we can make use of the Maya hardware renderer. If you try to use Arnold V-Ray or something like um, Redshift to render this, it may probably not show because those uh, or Lambert is not the shader that they understand uh, very well. So what we're going to do is we have this object and I'm just going to reassign this one more time. So we just uh, see that. Okay. So what happens here is I can come through and change the color depending on what I want to achieve. Okay. So you can come through and change the color depending on what you want to get at the end of the day. Then what we actually are here for is to see how we can make this transparent. So for you to make this transparent, you can come through and use the slider to, you know, make it transparent. But for you to be able to animate this transparency, it simply means that on your timeline. So I uh, totally uh, dropped off my timeline because I'm not animating at the point. So I'm just going to come through and open up the Maya Classic and hopefully everything pops up. Okay, cool. So if I just come back and open this one more time so that we can have a good view about, uh, so that we can have a good view of it. I'm just going to tag this here. Yes. So the transparency thingy works like this, that you can come through and say, let's say you want it to be solid at frame one. So we can keep that solid uh, thing at frame one, or we can say you want it to be solid all the way to frame 20. And from 20 to 30, we want to have it, uh, let's say, disappear. Okay, so we can uh, set this, set the first key here. Okay, so we set the key here. Then you can see it says result, and we can move over to frame 30, push this all the way to white, right click, and also set the key so now what happens is it becomes solid and from here you can see we drive through to get that transparent look you can see how it travels within the slider here so let's go all the way solid and if we travel through you can see how it travels through the slider this is actually how you can go ahead and animate uh your transparency let's also talk about um something else so let's say you have a map just for the references just in case you might need this in the future let's say you have a map and you want to drive the textures via this map so what we'll do use your middle mouse button drag drop here i'm going to call up on the noise texture so i'm just pressing tab on my keyboard and calling out the noise texture so i'm just getting noise all the way out here and let's say I want to use this noise to drive the texture of my model. So what I'm going to do here is I'm picking up this texture. Also remember that when we were doing this, that black simply means it is opaque and uh, white simply means it is transparent. I can simply come through and use the middle mouse button, pick with the middle mouse button, click and drag and drop here. Okay. So once I do that, once I do that, only the parts that is affected with this becomes transparent. Only those parts become transparent. So I'm just going to come through 
and use the color information and also place it in the color section so that we can see the parts that are transparent so i'm turning on the materials so that we can see and now with material turned on you can now see we have seen the parts that are transparent okay so this is how you can drive your objects using uh, materials this is how you can drive their transparency using materials and because this pro this uh, noise that we have here is sort of procedural it simply means that we can you know use it to create very interesting effects and this can go all the way from let's say we're traveling from 15 to 30 I'm ca I can come through and just right click here set a key here move all the way to something like 30 and push this all the way to this point and also set another key and what this does is if we move our slider up and down you can see we have this a uh, very nice effect other things you may need to consider while uh, working with your textures or working with your shaders is I'm going to come through and just show you with a simple example with a ramp so the base which I have here you would see that the plane exists but it looks uh, sort of transparent only where the light hits that you can see because this is actually being driven by uh, a ramp okay so I'm making use of a ramp shader to drive the plane and how that works is pretty pretty simple so I'm just selecting this ramp so you can select the ramp and use the middle mouse button to bring it here or you can select the ramp and just press on this button and you can get it here okay so for the ramp all I had to do was come through here and make this part okay so if I can just uh, push this aside so that you can have all of the rooms to see it okay so I just came through went over to the transparency then I'm making use of this to drive the uh, the ramp okay so I'm making use of the black and the white so if I pump this up you can see I'm making use of the black and the white to drive the ramp so you can use the ramp shader as well to also drive the ramp uh, or drive the uh, transparency on your on your model then if you're using something like Arnold you may typically not find this very welcoming because in Arnold you have two tabs or should I say you have two sections that has to do with transparency one of them likely may not work for your project while the other one will definitely work for your project so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a copy of this object or rather still I'm just going to create a new Arnold shader so I'm coming through here and I'm clicking on Arnold and I'm going to uh, bring up an Arnold standard shader so you can actually type it here AI standard and if I come through and bring an Arnold standard surface shader let's just uh, drop this here press F on our keyboard actually move to our original camera let's close this let's close this okay so what we can do is I can right click come through assign existing materials and add the Arnold shader and so I have Arnold shader happening here for this particular example I may have to turn off the light because we no longer have need for it okay so I may have to turn off the light and then the next thing which I will do let's also turn this off so then, then the next thing which I will do is I will show you how you can uh, play with this. So within the Arnold standard shader, if I just simply come through and render this, you would notice that this is all solid white. Okay, let's find a way to dock this somewhere so that we can reference this all anytime. So I'm just going to dock it on this other screen. Okay, so. We have this as uh, we have this as solid white. If I come through and go over to, if I come through and go over here, so with your shader selected, if you come through and go over to where you have geometry, you would see this part that's called transparent or, or opacity. Sorry, it's called opacity. So if you slide it up and down, it gives that feeling like you're going to have opacity. All right, but then when you come through again and re-render this object, 
when you come through and re-render this object you still have exactly the same thing so your big question is how then are you going to create a transparent object using Arnold? I'm going to explain how you can do that. So how you can do that is really simple. All you need to do, all you need to do now is you just have to let this be how it was. Go over to where we have transmission and then you can turn the entire weight of the transmission on. So by turning transmission on, you'll be able to see that you're having uh, transparency happening so transmission is responsible for the transparency when you're using anode and a good thing to do is whenever you're using the transmission also make sure that within your render settings within your render settings when you select uh, anode for example you have to make sure that you set the transmission high okay try and make sure that you set the transmission high Specularity might not do it for you, so transmission has to do it. And if you want more rays to bounce through so that maybe you can see through the object, you need to come towards where we have the ray depth and also set the transmission up as well. So if you do this and then you come through and hit the render button, you'll be able to see a much more transparent object. The more transmission you add up or the more transmission rays that you add to your anode render, the more transparent your object is going to be i'm just going to stop this and make one more bucket and i'm going to come through and you know increase this and let's see what we can get so from here i might just come through and just push this all the way to six it's definitely going to take way more time okay and i can push this all the way to 10 and from this transmission i can push this all the way to one and now when i come through and hit the render you'll notice I have a much more transparent object. And so this is basically how you can go ahead and, you know, create something like this and play with it within your scene. If you want to create um, transparent materials or use your shaders to drive your model, uh, this is basically how you can do it. We've just looked at how we can animate it as well. So there are various ways you can do this stuff and you can actually choose which of them that you know best suits you at any given time so tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section if you have problems like this please put them in the comment section let's try as much as possible to help uh the community out there and if you like this video simply give it a like and don't forget to share with your friends and if you're new here it's going to be so amazing if you can hit that subscribe button and you know Turn on notifications so that you'll be the first to know once I release a new video. And until I see you guys next time with a review uh, tutorial, rant, tips and tricks like this, peace.